the, the dark. son of slaughter. Hush now. Hey! It round this set. Our father spends his days in the mead halls and his nights on barren planks of wood. That's right. We'll search the mead halls. I remember one nearby, a sad hall where men soak their unhappiness. We should look there. We come empty handed, not even a gift to offer. Rat. You were speaking? Rats don't appreciate gifts, they sniff and lick them without care. You are a chipper, brother. That poor soaker, he never leaves. From sunup to sundown, he just sits there, staring into his horn. Once, just once, I'd have him take a bath. He was a king once, that one. You'd never know by the way he soaks. We should go. Look at him. Father. Sigurd? My son, Eivor, by Odin's blessing, come and let me look at you Stop. both. That is far enough. Blood of Chir, what happened there? A grievous wound you have. Are you well? Far better than I look, I assure you. This... this calls for a toast. Your journey must have been long and cold. A drink to warm your blood! We are not here to drink or make merry. Only to look upon the rackets of a once great man. And then what? Make new war against King Harald? Stake a claim on his crown? Is that your wish? To sow more chaos here? <laughs> You're absurd, old man. What could possibly interest me in this frozen backwater? Interest you? You robbed me of my wealth when you left for England. I presume you would do it again. Not my idea. You left us with nothing when you pledged for King Harald. We took only what we deserved. <laughs> I have returned for one reason only, to say goodbye, and to thank you for your colossal failure. Failure? As a father, as a king, as a man. For without it, I would not have discovered my true self. My failure, as you call it. My oath to King Harald was the only sensible path forward for a man in my situation. It was your right to pledge your crown to another. And I know you did what you thought best for the safety of our clan. As Harald's forces advanced, I knew we did not have the strength to oppose him. We were too disorganized, too weak. With the sun ever absent, always off raiding in some far-flung land, never concerned with the duties of kingship. What choice did I have but to pledge my allegiance to him? A man with ambition and an army to match it. Absent? I acted only as the son of a king must. To earn you riches, to bring you glory, to praise your name. The people of Constantinople had no use for my name, Sigurd. I needed you here. Listen to this weeping old goat. I wish you whatever peace you may find in this new life you have found. I did not find it, Eivor. I chose it. The only way forward that did not lead to more violence and death and grief your father would have understood. He died to avoid a similar fate, to save his family at the cost of his reputation. No. My father, he... He was, sir. He loved you. That is all. 
Arkan nonsense. I've heard enough. Sigurd, from the day you were born, I wanted nothing more than to pass on my title, my land, my people, to you. But one year is never like another, and with the passage of time, certain truths appeared, unavoidable. Ours was the last kingdom in Norway to resist Harald's advance. To oppose him would have been our death. You do not know that. We could have fought back. We could have, yes. And suffered countless deaths for no other reason than to protect our pride. We will never know the truth. Because you were too afraid to risk it. Look after him, Eivor. And if you have the chance, lead him back from the edge of the abyss. He is my brother, not my dog. Be well, old man, and serve your king with honor. <laughs>